We say Isaiah is about developing leaders. But it's more than that. Brothers and sisters of faith, Come on now. it's time for us to learn to work together and speak with one voice. Isaiah is about transformation. It's about transforming people so that people can transform their communities. Today we come together from diverse backgrounds, having different life experiences, but sharing a common belief in the value and dignity of all people. I believe that this hunger for grace and transformation is inside of all of us, including our public officials. Sure. Minister said you should get up in the morning with the word of God in one hand and the newspaper in the other. I would add only to that that there also needs to be a lot of you from Isaiah at the state capitol to frame that debate. Unless we really address that and talk about the health of all of our communities, talk about creating opportunities for all of us in every part of our sectors, in every community, we'll continue to fail. We'll continue not being prepared to succeed and have the opportunities that they deserve as well as all of our communities deserve. There was a time in my life when I believed I was living the American dream. I had a great marriage, a job where I was respected and challenged, and my husband and I owned a small business. Then, at the age of 60, I lost everyone I loved. They died. I thought, if this is the way the world is, I don't want any part of it. My pastor introduced me to Isaiah and asked me to go to training. My first Isaiah action was to shut down a drug house in our neighborhood. When I started on this project, I was filled with doubt. How could I possibly eliminate a problem that had been there for 30 years? Well, I knew that my Isaiah organizers were there with me. And we not only shut that place down, our work helped rehabilitate the building with six apartments that were rented to low-income residents. That's why Isaiah exists, to insist that the hope that lives within us for a fairer, healthier, more just community is not just talk. Isaiah is the vehicle that enables regular people like me to co-create the Minnesota we all need. When there are people who are poor, the rest of us are impoverished. When people are healed, when people have enough, when people thrive, then all of us benefit. It's more about recognizing that people's suffering has causes, and some of those causes are systemic, and I'm a participant in those systems. I've seen how health care is an issue both in my business and for the school district, and that's why I was very um, vocal on the need for health care reform. And I, I bring those experiences and I've been able to speak about them to help other people understand what's going on in the real world. I've been trying since 1988 to make a difference in how the criminal justice system responds to domestic violence so that victims of domestic violence and their children could be safe and grow up to be the human beings that it's possible for them to be. With Isaiah behind me and behind us, we have been a power that has made the blueprint possible. And in all of my Isaiah work, that's been the thing that's been the most important to me. That in everything we do, it's been the place where I have been the most transformed. That everything we do, we must treat every individual with dignity and respect. 
That's the bottom line. I joined together with people of faith from over 100 congregations across Minnesota. Together we can create our own business. Together we can create our own job. To improve the systems in our communities that affect all of us. Together we can create our own and stop backing others to do it for us. We believe access to home, jobs, and community should be available to everyone without exception. It is the future of Minnesota. It's the future of all of us together. It's whether our values and our principles and our faiths and our beliefs and our convictions. Now let's go to work together on behalf of everyone. Thank you. Thank you. My life, its meaning and its purpose involves being connected to a large network of Isaiah staff, organizers, pastors, and leaders and involves reconnecting to my faith in a God that is merciful and has restored me. It should become a living testimony to what three human beings can accomplish by acting in unity.